Hi everyone, welcome to episode one of Letters from Trent. Trent has decided to start expressing his feelings by writing some letters. So welcome to episode one. Trent has asked me though, before he sends his letters, if I could please help him and make sure if there's any tips I have for his letters. So he wrote a letter here. He put it in a nice pink envelope because Trent loves pink. And let's see what he wrote today. It says, Dear Billy, why are you always stealing all of my dog bones? It makes me very sad. Last night I was craving a snack, so I went downstairs to grab a bone. I gasped when I saw you rolling all over my bones. You got your stinky cat fur all over my precious bones. Oh, how rude. Can you please stop? I get so fussy when I don't get my daily bone. Love, Trent. Well, Trent, you did a great job expressing your feelings. I have a few tips for you though that will really help make your letter just completely shine like a diamond. So I wrote here, I kind of drew out some, a few little steps here for making a good letter. Okay, so let me kind of move the camera a little bit closer so you guys can see. So in every letter, guys, there are a few basic parts that we want to have in the letter. First of all, we want to start off by writing the date. And since we are in first grade, we write it out completely. So we have March 13th, comma, 2020. And if you guys remember when we talked about the month, date, year, you can remember why we put that comma in between the date and the year. And that's because we need to separate all those numbers there. So we separate the date, the number, the number date with a comma, and then the year, okay? So you can kind of see it just a little bit closer there. There's the comma after that date. Then we start off with the greeting. So this is called the greeting, dear Billy or dear whoever you're writing to. What Trent forgot though is he forgot to put the comma here. So that's really, really important to show that you understand how to write a letter. So we wanna have dear Billy and then the comma. He also forgot to put the date. That's why I added that up here. Then in the center of your letter, this is called the body of your letter. This is your, what you want to say to that person. And to write a good letter, guys, you don't just want to write one sentence of how are you, you know, because that's, you got to give them a little bit more because then the other person's just going to say, I am good. Okay, so we gotta do a little bit more than that. So Trent did a great job writing the letter. You can tell that he expressed his feelings. He said a lot in it. Then when you're finished, you have the closing. So the closing is down here. Trent chose to do love Trent, but he forgot to put the comma again. So you wanna make sure you have that comma. You can have the closing say like your friend, yours truly, sincerely, comma, and uh, make sure you have that comma. So I'm going to have an example letter up for you guys to read, and that'll be my letter from me to you guys, and you can read through that. And then what I'd like for you to do is write your own letter. You can share it on Seesaw, you can write it, and then take a picture of it to post for us to share, but you have to use that Classroom app, the Classroom Seesaw app. If you use seesaw family then it's not going to work okay so make sure your parents have helped you download seesaw classroom and then you can share your writing with me and so when you're writing the letter friends remember i want to see the month date year i want to see the opening with your comma the body more than just one sentence okay and then the closing thank you your friends sincerely yours truly any of those work with a comma and then your name, okay? And I know we are all curious and really want to see the sad puppy because he was feeling real sad about those bones as I'm sure you can imagine. So let's take a look at the sad puppy. It looks like he kind of woke up from his nap right now. Oh, there, oh, there he is. Yeah, he's getting his little afternoon itch there. Tell, tell the camera about how sad you were. Look at those sad eyes. Tell everybody about how sad you were that Billy took your bones. Yes, I know. You might need, oh, you need some cuddles. Do you need some cuddles because you're so sad? Poor thing. He wrote a really good letter though, don't you think guys? All right, well, I look forward to hearing your letters. 
and I'm sure Trent is going to share some more problems. Yes, do you have other dog problems? He does. All right, well, let's look forward to, for some more letters from Trent. Goodbye, everyone.